welcome to today's project. So what we're gonna be doing is building some shade. See, I already got this one going. I like these little mesh tarps. They block out about 50% of the sun. Went ahead and got two more from Harbor Freight. They're about $60 a piece currently. And they're 12 by 20s. I'll use three total. I'll have 20 by 36. We'll anchor it to this back wall. I've got this pole, two inch electrical conduit pole. Um, I was looking for a post, fence post that was tall enough and they only made them in eight feet because of talls. So that is a 10 foot length. So I've drilled two holes through this metal. I've got it kind of dug down into the dirt here. And 10 inch, half inch bolts. Those will go through. I'll drill through the mason block here. And on the back, oh, that thing's hot. I've got this metal brace so that I don't crumble the brick as I tighten this nut down. At the top, I'll run a cord to help support the weight of all the shade tarps. At the house over there, I've got the little hook that I have drilled into the stucco. Stucco sticks out about two inches. I'll put the cable from here, attach it to that pole, and it's about 20 feet from the block there to the pole. We're gonna see how this works. All right, using just some basic tools now. Drilled the holes through the pipe, drilled the holes through the mason. Got these big 10 inch bolts sticking out the back. I just cut my plate and I used some metal step bits to drill that hole right there. So that, I'll put these two bolts down, that'll help secure it. That way I won't put too much pressure on one spot on this cinder block here and hopefully we'll preserve the life of it. Um, now I just gotta paint this thing. I may put concrete down this pipe just to help make it strong. I definitely don't want it to bend this pipe. So we'll see. I've got this hammered Rust-Oleum paint. I freaking love this stuff. You don't have to prime or anything. You just spray it on. It dries relatively quickly and then it's protected from rust for the most part. This is a Rust-Oleum textured finish. It's supposed to look like stone. Sienna, it almost perfectly matches the stone wall I have here. So I'm gonna use this to spray paint anchor bracket there and maybe the bottom half of the pole, I haven't decided. So I tested it a little bit with the cable and like I'm seeing a good amount of wobble, which that's just not gonna stand the test of time. So I have some fast set concrete that I think I'm going to pour down the top. I think the goal is gonna be to get as much concrete in there with as few air bubbles and voids as possible. Just try and strengthen um, this pole so it has less wobble. Just a reminder, this is the redneck cheap version of how to do this. I wanted to put a nice thick gauge 4x4 right here instead of this. A 20 foot length is $450 just for raw metal. This cost me $40. So between $40 in metal and $5 in concrete, I think it'll do what I want it to do and I don't have to spend $450. Alright, day two of the shade DIY project here. Um, we've got our redneck pole and our redneck hook. Gonna run a cable between the two of them and see if it will support the weight of our three shade sails. So let's try it out. I'm just gonna drill in a few more anchor points on the mesh here. Um, I'm gonna do that just using a standard masonry bit. And I'm going to bolt it in with a little Capcom uh, cement screw on concrete screw and I'll throw a little washer on there just to give it a little bit more surface area. Take a little scrap wire you've got here, you shove it in that little hole you just drilled. A little bit of wire is gonna fill in any extra gaps and really snug it in really, really well. Snip off the extra, you're ready to go. All right, well, my time lapse didn't work, but I've successfully got it up. I looped the cable on this eye hook and ran it all the way to the hook I have on the house there. And then on the shade tarps, I kind of went over and under and over and under. So that's kind of how I wove the 
mess, the mesh is shade. And then I put a zip tie on every ring and then in between each ring as well. And I did the same on this section where I kind of zipped the, the mesh together. There are probably over a hundred zip ties in this thing, but it's tight. It's creating a lot amount of shade. It's doing exactly what we wanted for a fraction of the price. So I'm pretty happy with it. Um, if you do end up having sag, like I had sag in some of these middle areas over here on the edge, I just kind of rolled it up underneath itself and that pulled the sag out of the middle sections and then I just put a few extra bolts in the wall to kind of tighten it up. And then on the end here, I had about a foot of extra material because it was too, too long. So again, I just kind of rolled the, the remaining material up and uh, just kind of ran it all the way to the wall. It actually cleaned up really, really nicely. So, and then on this end, I've got that little rig.